All right. I am happy to announce confirmation on what we all have been waiting on for a very long time. Machine 3.0. It is confirmed on the Native Instrument website in the community section along with other releases that happened this year. And it seems that Machine will launch here November 2024. And this is written by the man himself, Simon Cross, Chief Product Officer of the Native Instrument Group here at the bottom. So if we read this here, this is something that, of course, we've been waiting for. This is all that we have. Um, if I blow it up a little bit more, this this is about all we can see. So we're looking at the design. Let me see if I can recognize anything like right off rip. I'm noticing something up here that says drop. Let's see if we can. I don't know if I can move this around. Yeah, something right here says drop. I don't know what that means, but that's new. <laughs> that's definitely there. Everything else seems it, it, it looks like it got a, a a nice little update. Things look even more cleaner. Looks like things are darker, like the whole color scheme is not grayish, it's darker. And I can almost assume that this library, it matches the theme of Complete 8, Contact 8, sorry. It matches the theme. So going through the browser will be like some of the same things there. So I'm, th I'm, I'm guessing that that's what that is over here. It looks the same, but kind of, it kind of looks like, mm, like you're going through guitar rig a little bit. Kind of has that flow. Anyway, that's what, that's what we are looking at here. But if you look at it, it looks the same as before. Like there, there is not much different. And that's just, that's just looking at it. Just looking at it. Like things, the placement and everything, everything looks, you know, but I'm pretty sure all of the big stuff is under the hood, right? All right, so if, if we just exit out of this thing real quick. So some of the features will include stem separation, okay? MIDI editing, workflow improvements, scene tempo, per scene tempo, okay? A basic control, S series MK3 integration. Okay, so so that's the big question. I can almost <laughs> can almost pump. I can almost pause right there and don't read nothing else because that's all people care about right now is integration. So they are adding integration, but they notice it said a basic control S series MK3 integration, meaning that it may not do everything that is intended in terms of integration or at least what they're what they're trying to do on the nks build nks2 build but they know and they hear everybody and so i'm if i can just if i had to guess i think they did something like a fix a quick fix to bring back integration because they know they're going to hear from people that's going to be the first thing people going to complain about just like we we did with Studio One Seven, when Studio One Seven released, and so instead of like showing love to all of the features, the first thing people said was, "I'm not upgrading because they didn't upgrade the impact." <laughs> so that is the same concept here. They already saw it coming, so they was like, "You know what? Let's just do a quick fix. Let's let's do something. Let's not be the ones. Let's not be the laughing stock because." NPC is already ahead of the curve. Ableton Live is already on their own. Look like Ableton Live is on a different planet right now. They on they on they, they on thing like yeah. That's 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 just a whole vibe right there. A whole different vibe. But I'm gonna keep reading for some of those people who 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 care to to hear it all. Um, a modern interface. So I guess that's what they did here. Kind of changed it up, made it more modern, and all of the other small but valuable improvements. So there's a lot of things under the hood that people have been asking for. And here we go. This is what 3.0 will be representing. So there also will be releasing a new content library called the Machine Central, 
with 128 multi-sample instruments that fully are capable with Machine Plus, as well as 70 new kits, over 100 new presets. Dang. Dang. 70 new kits. Wow. You'll be able to purchase the software upgrade on its own or purchase both the software upgrade and machine central content library together. Now, I do know that there is a subscription deal happening right now. Currently, we cover that in the video. I'm not sure if that is something that will be included in that with this here that they're talking about. It looks like to get the machine 3.0, there will be a fee, a surcharge to get this and is it worth it that's too soon i can hear y'all right now I, i'm telling y'all that's that's it's like it's like it, some of y'all just avoid the video and everything in the video and the first question y'all ask is is it worth it like come on seriously we don't know i haven't had a chance to play with it so I can't tell you if it's worth it or not. We don't even know how much they're going to charge us. <laughs> that's the that's the first thing. Um, but is it worth a fee for them charging at all, right? And that, that might be a question worth asking. But I want to say, after so long that we have had any update of this magnitude, I would imagine that it would be worth it because... They, they, this is, this is their way of, of, of putting together everything that all of us has been pounding them about. And myself included, I have a few things I've, I've been wanting and this would be very interesting to cover once we get the updates. Absolutely. Will this work on older machines like the machine studio? I can hear that right now. I would imagine yes, but I'm not sure. Don't hold me to that. I can't confirm that, but I would imagine that they wouldn't leave those older devices hanging. You know, people are still using those. The machine Mark One. I don't know, and it takes time to keep updating everything. The old machines and what's happening now and. Ain't no telling what the new one is going to be like, you know. So it's like you got to make some sense out of all of that. So big ups to the developer team on this. This is huge. This is huge. Um, but of course, you should be subscribed to this channel because I will be covering all of the stuff. Absolutely. We will dive deep into this. I'm going to have to create some new courses because all of my courses machine courses were designed in the old in the old 2.0 version and so this changes everything i would imagine i'm about to show y'all break this stuff down and i'm have fun doing it absolutely that's all i have for you guys i hope that this was informative this is great news it seemed like everything happened in this year right you know we got the new the new um studio one seven that, that dropped we got the new Complete 15 that dropped this year and Complete 8, I mean Contact 8. And we got, I think, Native, no, uh, Able to Live 12 that released this year, I believe. Yeah. And all these other things that, you know, Isotope, of course, that whole deal. Like everything just released this year. Like, wow. We got the new move able to live another another deal that just released a few days ago you know and everything is it's just been like this was a perfect year to release all new products it seems interesting but uh all right all right y'all I, I gotta get back to it lifestyle government art